Hello friends, I don't know how many of us realize that creating the correct size of capsular rexes can play a pretty important and crucial role in how successfully we are able to complete the phaco emulsification encountering as few problems as possible. The correct size of capsular rexes should be largely dictated by the amount of nuclear sclerosis. So maybe about 5 to 5.25 millimeter capsular rexes is good in a case with a grade 1 or grade 2 nucleosclerotic cataract but a slightly higher size of capsular rexis will function well in a patient with a grade 3 or grade 4 nucleosclerotic cataract and we need to aim for a 5.5 or 5.75 rexis in these patients. Now let me show you a case where the rexis ended up being slightly smaller just about 5 or less than 5 millimeters but since this was a grade 2 nucleosclerotic cataract we decided to go ahead and complete the phaco emulsification. So the hydro dissection was okay and quite proper and I was able to get a good cortical cleavage hydro dissection. The problems that you need to bear in mind while performing phaco in a small rexus is that you may inadvertently nick the anterior capsule while you're creating the direct chop. But if you are aware of the edge of the capsular rexus and if you are carrying the sharp tip chopper into the substance of the nucleus into the mid peripheral zone, then this disaster can be averted. The other problem is that you need to just create smaller fragment sizes because just creating four large fragments, you may find it difficult to mobilize them through the small size capsular rexus opening. Because the capsular rexus puts a lid on to the nucleus and it may be very difficult to move this fragment into the central space. This is what you are seeing in this patient. If the rexus was slightly larger then this nucleus piece followability would have been excellent. But the sluggish followability is not because I am using different parameters in my FACO settings. The FACO settings are identical to what I normally do. But the fact that the rexus is smaller causes a difficulty in mobilization of nucleus fragments. Now the most important pressure point is this that you may catch the anterior capsule and create a large zonular dialysis as I did in this case. This of course does not happen all the time. In this case I was uh, being a little fast and a little reckless. So I created a zonular dialysis superiorly when I was trying to remove the subincisional cortex because instead of holding on to the cortex I held on to the anterior capsule. Now how do we proceed from this point? First evacuate the cortex 180 degrees or diagonally opposite the site of zonular dialysis. Now the surrounding zonules of course are strong and healthy and will not get compromised. In the subincisional area when I'm trying to remove the cortex you can see that the capsular bag actually presents itself at that point and hence it is very very important that you do not persist in removing the subincisional cortex. Of course the great lifesaver for all of us is the availability of the capsule tension ring. It is threaded into the capsular bag by a hand over hand maneuver and put into the capsular bag. Now what the capsule tension ring does is that it stretches the equator of the capsular bag. It works beautifully when the zonular dialysis is less than 3 clock hours and the surrounding zonules are also strong and healthy. So once the capsule tension ring is in place then the removal of the superior cortex can be done with impunity without worrying that the capsular bag will follow the phaco tip due to the high vacuum. The intraocular lens is then implanted as an additional safety precaution.
I locate the haptics of the lens in the area of the zonal dialysis, hoping that the pressure of the haptic will cause an additional buttress and support to the dialyzed zonal area. So this completes the case. Remember that if you end up with a small size capsular excess, do not persist with phacoemulsification. It always makes a lot of sense to put in some visco, make a small nick and enlarge the rexes to the desired size so that you can avoid much of the problems associated with small rexes phaco. Thank you for your attention.